Now, did I notice any difference? Did it help me with bloating? There was no cough, there was no cold. Will I buy the apple cider vinegar again? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the popular and very rave about apple cider vinegar. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience with this. I decided to try it. Maybe it's because I was looking for a shortcut to weight loss. I would say that is part of the reason why I decided to try it. Basically, it has, actually has a lot of other benefits, not just weight loss benefits alone. So, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the things that I found out that apple cider vinegar actually does, what it did for me, and if it actually works for like the weight loss thing. Because if you go online, everybody says that apple cider vinegar helps them lose weight. I have watched a few videos that said it didn't do anything for them. But in this video, I'm going to find out if it actually did anything for me. So the one I got is the... 473 mils which is the 16 fluid ounce one this is it here and you want if you if you do feel like you need to take the apple cider vinegar you want to take the one with the mother which is it's written down there it says with the mother and the mother is actually like i think i've moved it a bit but the mother is there's this like cloudy thing on the bottom and there are some things that actually settle i think that's, I think that's what I read. If it, that's what I watched and that's what I read. I hope I'm right. So this is one I bought and I bought this from a pharmacy and this was 4,000 naira. So I would say that if you really want to get a background knowledge or like a more detailed knowledge about the apple cider vinegar, check out Dr. Eric Burke's channel. He's a medical doctor and I think he really specializes in weight loss. I came across him when I was um, going through you to search for a few things and then I saw a lot of his videos are actually about weight loss and you know things are surrounding weight loss so if you really want to educate yourself on what apple cider vinegar actually does in your body apart from the whole weight loss thing that's flying around please go to Dr. Eric Beck's channel I'll leave the link in my description the major things that you need to know is number one it's very acidic so you need to dilute it first I also heard that it can destroy the enamel of your teeth so that means you actually really need to dilute it and even if even after diluting it you need to rinse your mouth with water or brush your mouth when you're done drinking this another thing is that you can also use a straw because when you use a straw it doesn't enter like it doesn't touch your teeth that much it just goes down your throat I heard you shouldn't take more than two tablespoons at a go so just so that you guys actually know that so two tablespoons is the max you should go with this when i just got this how i took it was i put in two tablespoons of this in some water i used a regular cup and i filled it to the brim now the thing about apple cider vinegar is the smell is disgusting like i don't know how to explain it i feel it's it smells more disgusting than it tastes it doesn't taste that bad it just tastes really vinegarish like sour in your mouth but it doesn't taste like horrible but the smell is horrible it smells it smells like those bean you know when you when you have like spoiled bananas spoiled apples um, rotten apples rotten bananas in your dustbin for a while and I think red wine that yes red wine that has gone stale so when i was taking it the first time i took two tablespoons of this with water in the morning and in the night now there's so many that when you watch videos this people say take it in the morning and the night some people say take it before meals some people say take it after each meal some people say take it three times a day there's just so much stuff like you won't you will be confused you won't know which one to do but what i did was i was taking it morning and night first thing in the morning before i had any meal and last thing before i go to bed in the night now did i notice any difference i would say it did help me feel less sluggish because during the period i was taking it um the children were on holidays and it was like they were such a handful and i realized that i felt a lot more energetic than i did before so when you go on dr eric Gregg's channel you'll be able to understand what apple cider vinegar does and he would explain how it changes your ph i did feel 
a lot more energetic in the mornings when I had to, you know, prepare them for the day and just let them play and all that. Did it help me with bloating? Yes, it did. It did help me with bloating. I noticed that. My husband also noticed that. Um, my stomach went down drastically like okay it wasn't that drastic because I wasn't even consistent with this I took it for like a week and then I stopped but during the period that I was taking it I noticed that I didn't have some I didn't have bloating see bloating is a silent stomach increaser like and even my husband noticed that he was like your stomach has actually gone down when it comes to weight this did not help me lose any weight um, before I started this, I took I, I don't have this scale in my house. So from the pharmacy where I bought this from, I actually checked my weight on that particular day. And the next time I checked my weight was in like two to three weeks then when I went to see my sister. My sister has a scale, had a scale in her front of her bathroom. So I was like, let me just check my weight. I weighed the same, like the same thing, no different. So I can't really say I might have lost and I might have added during the period of like the two, three weeks interval i'm not sure but i know that when i check my weight the next time it was still the same thing so another thing that um i read that apple cider vinegar helps to is for sore throats and that was one of the major reasons why i actually went out to buy that was and that was like second reason because during the period when i was thinking of buying it i was having serious sore throats i had a sore throat for about three to four weeks it was so bad like I, it was so bad and then I was coughing and when I cough it would hurt me so much so that period I was like even if I'm stalling on buying this thing because of this sort of I'm just going to buy it so I went to the pharmacy and I bought it and I started taking this thing it did take a while for the sort of to go I think it stayed for like two three days before it finally went and during that period I was having recurrent colds and sore throats but throughout the period of me taking the apple cider vinegar I didn't have any sore throat and I didn't have any there was no cough there was no cold like there was nothing I didn't have any of that but there was a period I took like a long break within like I, I didn't take it for like two weeks or so that period I had a sore throat once so like I was telling you guys when I started taking it I was taking it with just water and I would just guzzle everything down but like I said, it didn't taste as bad as it smelled. So I would just send everything down my throat, but then I try not to breathe because I didn't I don't like the smell, but I can deal with the taste. So I took that for about one to two weeks and I was noticing, you know, um that my stomach was going down. I wasn't as blue and I didn't feel as bloated as I used to feel. So I switched it up because I watched a couple of videos and then I started taking it with turmeric and lemon and there are so many ways to take this thing some people take it with turmeric some people put lemon some people put cinnamon some people put ginger um, some people put cayenne pepper so there's like so many things you can actually put and i think all of these other ingredients um help with weight loss or help with your metabolism so it really depends on the things that you have available things that are easier for you to you know things that are within your reach so for me i took it with water the first week or like the first two weeks and then after that i switched up and i started taking it with turmeric and then i put i didn't i didn't use cinnamon i used turmeric and lemon so i took it with those two some people also put honey in it but then i read somewhere that honey kind of defeats the purpose of you know the weight loss and all that more i used just turmeric and lemon i would say that it tasted more disgusting with those things i prefer to take it without anything or to take it with just lemon actually i prefer taking it with just lemon but putting turmeric in it just made it taste i don't know made it taste like food like food that was confused i don't know how to explain it but it just didn't taste good with turmeric so far on the scale i didn't lose any weight at all i didn't lose any weight and looking at myself i don't feel like i shed any weight i look the same my clothes felt the same will i buy the apple cider vinegar again no there's so much you can do with apple cider vinegar you can use this for your skin for your face it helps with preservation as well so there's so much it can actually do for you so i feel like it might be something i will buy and just keep in the house the way you keep other things in the house when you go to buy groceries but i won't buy it because i feel like i really need it so that is it you guys for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I 
enlightened you at least to a reasonable extent on what the apple cider vinegar actually did for me if you like this video don't forget to thumbs it up leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and please turn on the notification bell i don't say that because i feel like you know the whole click the like button da, 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 da. sometimes i feel like it's too it becomes very repetitive that it becomes annoying so i don't like to say it most times but then someone left me a comment saying she doesn't see my videos until she searches for them so please turn just tap the notification bell down there by the side of the subscribe button whenever i post a video you will get a notification on your phone or on whatever device you're using to watch see you guys in my next video bye